Watch Apple's November event live on StreamApple.live. Hey, what's up guys? We're less than 24 hours away from Apple's next digital event, and this one with the tagline, One More Thing. The event kicks off tomorrow at 10 a.m. PDT. Again, bookmark the link on screen now so you can watch live and subscribe to our channel for future updates on Apple's latest devices, software, and news. For those unable to watch the stream, we'll also have live coverage on our social channels, primarily Facebook and Twitter. So definitely follow those for more great info. So thus far, this fall, we've had two major Apple events, the September event centered around iPads, the October event centered around iPhones, and this time around, Apple is going to be talking about the Mac and their transition to Apple Silicon hardware. Goodbye Intel in comes custom CPU and GPU as well as other hardware made directly by Apple aiming to improve performance, security, and energy efficiency. Now their goal is to produce the most powerful Mac that consumes the least amount of energy. And bringing it back all the way to this year's WWDC where Apple first made this announcement, they also noted that the first Apple Silicon Mac would debut before the end of the year. It looks like Apple's going to be able to uphold that promise. Now, rumors suggest we're gonna see a 13-inch MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air be the first two computers to receive this new hardware, although they did make a developer Mac Mini, so I wouldn't be too surprised if we saw a consumer-facing update there. Basically, a similar chipset that's in the latest iPhone 12s was put into this device, and it outperforms last year's model by a long shot. So, hardware is one side of this event, but I wanted to remind everyone, because it seems like this is going unmentioned a lot in a lot of posts, that Mac OS Big Sur, this year's major, major Mac update transitioning out of 10.x to now Mac OS 11, has still not been released. So, plan on that coming out alongside this Apple event and the new hardware. But don't worry, this transition to the new hardware is going to be taking a few years for Apple to complete, and they noted that prior Macs will still be receiving the new software updates. And very quickly, other major rumors that we could see come to light in this event, Apple's tile-like trackers, air tags may be announced. I mean, that would really be a pro Apple move to one more thing, the one more thing. And the second major thing that everyone's rumoring could come out tomorrow is AirPod Studio, Apple's over-the-ear headphones, uh, kind of Beats-like headphones, um, but with the AirPods branding. That'll be really interesting, uh, and I can see that going well, going alongside the new Macs better than the AirTags, but I guess we'll have to just wait and see. That pretty much wraps up this video, guys. Don't forget to bookmark streamapple.live to watch the event tomorrow. Subscribe to our channel for the most up-to-date news and coverage, and follow us on social for even more good stuff. This week's going to be huge with lots of cool videos incoming. I mean, we just had the CheckBrain jailbreak be updated to support more devices on iOS 14. The Xbox Series X and S is launching this week, and the iPhone Pro Max and iPhone Mini are coming out at the very end. So we have a lot of stuff to talk about this week. Stay tuned, subscribe if you want to check out some of those future videos. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.